recap, three rounds for our strength today. Okay. Eight to ten Romanian deadlifts for A1, A2, ten to fifteen one leg glute bridges, A3, ten to fifteen hamstring sliders. Basically, kiss your post to your chain goodbye. Okay, so Romanian deadlifts is just a fancy way of saying stiff legged deadlifts. Okay, we're just having a soft bend in the knees and then just hinging through. So, basically, the idea is femur stays locked and pelvis and torso move over top, okay? So, we've got our dumbbells to set up, and then we're hinging forward, very little bend in the knees until your hamstrings come under full tension and they feel like they're going to tear off, and then you're going to use that tension to push the ground away and snap up, squeezing the foot, okay? Shifting back, snap up, okay? If that's not a very big range of motion because you're really tight, that's fine. Just use that tension to snap yourself up. If you're one of those freakish people who have crazy hamstring mobility and get really low, that's fine. But again, focus on creating that tension and pushing the ground away, okay? After those, you'll go into your single leg glute bridges. So, as mentioned before, I want you on your heel, okay, relatively close to your to your butt, if you can. My hamstrings are too big; I can't get there. Okay. Other leg is straight, and then you're gonna push up through your glutes, keeping that leg straight with the torso the whole time. Okay. Push. You'll do 10 to 15 each side. You will probably have a side stronger than the other. That's normal. And contrary to popular belief, not a problem. <clears throat> Unless it's really difficult. Into hamstring side. So you can use a t-shirt or a towel on a hardwood floor or tile floor works adjust as well, okay? But same thing up on here, you're going to bridge up. You can brace your hands or your elbows, whatever you're comfortable with, slide out. Try and keep some space under your butt if you can, and then back up high, down, up, okay? If that's too difficult, you can just come down, Bring these up, bridge back up, throw it nice and slow, come back up, okay? Or down, one leg, other leg, okay? Out, one leg, other leg, out, okay? Like I said, kiss your post or your chain goodbye because it's going to be fried. All right, so. 12 minute AMRAP. Speaking about messing up your posterior chain. 12 minute AMRAP, 200 meter run, 12 kettlebell or dumbbell swings, six hand release push ups. Okay. So you're going to pace ish slash not pace this. 12 minutes is not that long, but it's long enough to feel a lot of pain. So you go for your run. 200 meters should take a minute or less. You'll come back in. You'll grab your kettlebell or your dumbbell. And you're going to do your swings. Okay. You can either hold it by the head or the shaft. <laughs> okay. Either way. This makes it feel more like an actual kettlebell. Okay. So you do your 12 and then you go down. Do your hand release push ups. Okay. And then go for a run. Similar ish to the other day, try and use your run to bring your heart rate down. 
not to drive it further up, okay? So that you're coming in from your run a little bit recovered, okay? The first little bit of the run's gonna feel terrible because the kettlebell swings and the push-ups will hit you in the first 50 meters. So then you use the next 150 meters to settle yourself back down so that you're coming into your swings a lot more calm. Cool? Have fun. It's only 12 minutes. You don't need water. If you're taking water, that's just an excuse to take a break. No bueno. Okay? Como estas? Como Have a good day.